take this on? What instrumented security is really about is removing the assumptions that are driving cybersecurity decisions today and proving security, proving that what we're doing is working and effective. And so the goal is to understand how the people, processes, and technology that make up the security organization and infrastructures that we've built, how they're going to respond to an attack before it takes place. Security infrastructures at this point have become incredibly complicated. We've deployed a lot of products, we've spent a lot of money, and there's really questions that are core and fundamental to why we're doing all of this. CEO sees a headline, calls the CISO and says, hey, can that attack happen to us? Don't really know. Security today is really driven by assumptions. We make assumptions about the technology and its capabilities based on what vendors say. Uh, we make assumptions about how that's been deployed and configured. We assume that our people are handling the incidents and information they're getting back from these tools correctly. We look at the way businesses run for anything else in the environment other than cybersecurity, including IT and networking. If you can't measure it, you can't manage it. We need the ability to take a threat or take an attack and dynamically assess the cumulative effectiveness of all of these layers to quickly understand based upon the decisions I've made and the technology that's been deployed and how it's been configured, what does that mean for me when attack X takes place? And so we built some really cool technology that allows us to safely execute attack patterns and malicious behaviors within a production infrastructure. We're deeply integrated into the defensive stack of the customer. So whether that's Splunk Enterprise Security, ArcSight, Nitro, Palo Alto, their DLPs. And through this deep integration, what it allows us to do is actually generate a report that shows when this attack pattern takes place exactly what you're going to prevent or stop from happening and what technology in your environment does this the exact detection events that the analysts would see in the context of that attacker's behavior, and then what you're gonna miss completely. If we want to go through and just test the technology and the processes without creating a fire drill for the user, we're able to do so and automatically tag and suppress these events. At the same time, if we wanna pivot and do some sort of stealth exercise to test our people, we can do that as well. And so actually you know, operationalizing the ability to do this in a continuous manner is incredibly important and unique to our approach. And so we're able to show you ahead of time what a post-incident response would look like and do that in a completely safe, repeatable manner without actually risking the production infrastructure. So whether it's the offensive side or the defensive side or the CISO level or you know, threat intel, there's really applicability across the board. We want to see into the future and know exactly where our holes are going to be, exactly where the processes are going to break down, exactly where the technology is misconfigured and have the ability to tweak, to tune, to train and close that gap before the incident actually occurs.